Okay, so the Barbs um, have to be some of the most dedicated fans uh, in the world. Would y'all agree? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. And, man, they're, they're kind of aggressive, too, Nikki. They're very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay, uh, but you decided to rebrand your fans, right? Mm-hmm. And you're calling them... Members of the kingdom. I call them the kingdom now. Okay. Because I feel like we've elevated. Ooh. Okay. I don't really use the word barbs much. Okay. But that is something sentimental with me that I share with my fans, but I don't need to share it with the world because they always try to put negative spins on things that I hold dear to my heart. So I don't want to give them that anymore. Um, we are the kingdom, though, and you can't say shit about that. I mean, yep. you can't okay. say anything about that because this is a kingdom. It is a kingdom. Okay. <laughs> Can, can, can I ask you something real quick? Um, I really like the artwork, um, the album artwork. Um, and, uh, and Ganja Burns, the, the, the video, yeah. you know, and I feel like the aesthetic is the same. Uh, talk about that. So that's why I chose Ganja Burns to start the album. There was a couple people on my team that wanted Barbie Dreams to start the album. Yeah. And I said, and, you know, five, ten years from now, when I look back on the album called Queen, I don't want to start the album talking about, you know, screwing and sucking and all that. I want to I want to start that album expressing to you guys my journey that I just that you guys just witnessed for the last couple years uh -huh. as well as saying a queen is what I embody. I spoke on about Ganja Burn on Ganja Burn. If you ever want to know me, listen to Ganja Burn. Uh -huh. That is the song that ex that truly is me in like my rawest, purest form, because I'm very spiritual, people don't know that. And it was a fight, it was a constant fight to get this album out, you know, spiritually. And um, once I got over this hurdle, I just felt free, light, and um, super, super happy. But it was, a, it, it, it was not easy, it was not easy. So I'm talking about abstaining from sex. I heard that line. Yeah, I'm talking <laughs> about, because you know, when I went through that breakup, yeah. um, well, first of all, I, I never I never dated. So I don't date. I always meet, have someone and then become their girlfriend and then stay with that one person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I went like, you know, the first six months of the year just trying to really stay to myself. I, I was I was going to go a full year without dating, period. Yeah. And then somebody <laughs> walked. Who, who walked into your life? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, I think, well, Nas. Nas. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but the good, the good thing about the Nas situation is that he and I are still good friends, and we still have so much respect for each other. And I was telling, I told Meek this, actually. I said, don't you see how Nas carried himself? I said, Nas has never once said anything bad about me. He's never done anything negative toward me. He carried himself like a king. Hey, hey, hey. And, and I, and I, you know, I think that Meek learned a lot from that situation too, you know? And, um, and I, cause I had a lot of anger and hate for him at, because of the way he handled the breakup publicly. And, um, and I know he was hurt, you know, he was like, look, this was my first time being in love and I didn't know how to handle it. And, um, at, at a certain extent, Point, you have to forgive, you, you know. Gotta forgive. And yeah. I and I have, I have forgiven him, forgiven him because he has come genuinely to me and mm. asked for my forgiveness. Yeah. But there are other people who attempt to use what I was in their life as a marketing ploy mm. and and in a, and to get attention. And I I can't be with that. I put in real work. Yeah. I, I, and I've helped so many freaking people. And that's why if you look around. There was a particular time on social media, a lot of people was running their mouth. None of them ain't charts since. 